plant in Chicago, the president will hit the campaign trail, raising some cash for Democratic candidates. But some Democrats don't want his help. Pennsylvania Senate candidate Joe Sestak saying he'd rather have the first lady campaign for him. Wendell Gohler following this live from the White House. So, Wendell, how unusual is it really that the president is not the number one choice for Democratic campaigners? Well, actually, it's not unusual at all in terms of personal campaigning. Each of the past three presidents has reached a point in his presidency where his main effectiveness has been as fundraiser-in-chief instead of a cheerleader-in-chief. You can thank uh, George W. Bush a couple of years into the Iraq War or Bill Clinton uh, during much of his second term. President Obama's uh, job approval rating right now is hovering around 45 percent in an average of polls. His disapproval rating is about five points higher. So when the president went home to Chicago uh, last night to celebrate his 49th birthday, Democrats celebrated it uh, with fundraising events around the country, uh, luau in Austin, Texas, a presidential potluck in Phoenix, and um, uh, Yes We Cake celebration in Evanston, Illinois. As you said, the president will speak at a Ford plant uh, a few minutes from now, announcing not just the recovery of the big three uh, automakers, but an export-import bank loan intended to help Ford compete with foreign automakers. Jenna? Yes We Cake.